Matthew chapter 6, Jesus is teaching his disciples how to pray. And so he says, this then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Some manuscripts then include, for yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Here's why I regularly pray this prayer, literally word for word. I, I know it's a template of how to pray. We don't have to pray exactly like this. This isn't a magical incantation. But I regularly pray this prayer word for word for one specific reason. Because it stands in such stark contrast to how I would naturally pray. If it were just up to me, here's how I would pray this prayer. My genie in the bottle in heaven Hallow my name, my kingdom come, my will be done in heaven as I'm trying to make it on earth. Give us today all the bread I'm ever going to need and a lot that other people are going to need, so they are going to need me. And forgive me of my debts, even when I really don't forgive other debtors. And then take me really close to the extremely fun temptation but deliver me from the negative consequences of my own foolishness. For mine is the kingdom. Mine is the power. Mine is the glory forever. Amen. And yet Jesus calls us to pray in such a radically different way. He invites us out of ourselves and into a much larger story. It begins with the very first word, our. I would pray my father. And there's nothing wrong with my father. Jesus says it from the cross. He quotes Psalm 22. There's nothing wrong with saying my father. God is my father. But he tells us to pray our father. It reminds me that I have siblings. Siblings that I don't get to choose. That if I come to Jesus open-handed and receive forgiveness from him, anybody else can do the exact same thing that I do, and I don't get to say whether or not they get to see the table or not. He is our Father. We have to hallow his name. Not about me, not about myself, not about what I do. This is all about God and who he is. It's about his kingdom, which means his way of truth, of life, is the one that, that's supposed to be lived out. I have to submit my will now to his will, to do it his way. I want his will to be done, not just around me, but in my actual life here on earth, which means I have to now take an active role to live out what God has called me to do. And to live in this daily dependence upon him, this daily bread. He's not going to give me everything that I need. He's not going to make the path crystal clear. It is literally one step, one foot in front of the other. And I have to forgive whether people seek forgiveness or not because I have received his grace. And then I pray that God don't, don't even lead me in temptation. Keep, keep me a thousand miles away from the very things that I kind of want to rub shoulders with so that you can protect my own heart. I, I pray this on a regular basis because without these words, I would simply be about myself. Pray this today. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us of our debts, even as we forgive those who, who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.